the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, the Lord has called to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. The mighty God of mercy, and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who made the priest Saint Christopher Magalanus and his companions faithful to Christ the King, even to the point of martyrdom, grant us through their intercession a persevering in confession of the true faith, but may also hold fast to the commandments of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, loves and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Because in our country the Feast of Transfigur uh, Ascension is transferred to Sunday, uh, readings are taken from uh, the uh, sixth week of Easter and Thursday. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth, where he met a Jew called Aquila, whose family came from Pontus. He and his wife Priscilla had recently left Italy because an edict of Claudius had expelled all the Jews from Rome. Paul went to visit them, and when he found they were tent makers of the same trade as himself, he lodged with them, and they worked together. Every Sabbath he used to hold debates in the synagogues, trying to convert Jews as well as Greeks. After Silas and Timothy had arrived from Macedonia, Paul devoted all his time to preaching, declaring to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. When they turned against him and started to insult him, he took his cloak and shook it out in front of them, saying, Your blood be on your own heads. From now on I can go to the pagans with a clear conscience. Then he left the synagogue and moved to the house near next door that belonged to a worshiper of God called Justus. Crispus, the president of the synagogue, and his whole household all became believers in the Lord. A great many Corinthians who had heard him became believers and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I will not leave you often, says the Lord. I go, but I will come back to you and your hearts will be full of joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean, in a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again, and I am going to the Father? What is this short time? We don't know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to question him, so he said, You are asking one another what I meant by saying, in a short time you will no longer see me, but then a short time later you will see me again. 
I tell you more solemnly, you will be weeping and wailing while the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today Jesus tells of a time when it will be difficult for the disciples. They will mourn when they see him suffer and die. But in the resurrection, they will rejoice. There will be difficulty in their own suffering for the kingdom, but they will have joy. Consider just one thing today. The sufferings of this life are nothing compared to the glory which is to come. Jesus reminds us over and over again during these times of the joy which he gives. He says, blessed are those who mourn, they will be comforted. He says, those who live in me will have joy, and your joy will be complete. And they will hear him say, your sorrow will be turned into joy. All a reminder that whatever we go through in this life is nothing compared to the glory which is to come. On the church's calendar, we celebrate St. Christopher Magellanus and companions, like Blessed Miguel Augustine Pro, Cristobal, or Christopher and his 24 companion martyrs, lived during the time of a very anti-Catholic government in Mexico. Foreign missionaries had been expelled and in many areas throughout the land, masses were forbidden. Churches, schools, and seminaries were closed, and the government targeted them for their involvement in the Cristero movement, an uprising that was committed to defending and restoring the Catholic faith. Their motto was, Long live Christ, the King, and the Virgin of Guadalupe. Christopher built a seminary in Totichi, where he and his companions secretly preached and ministered to local Catholics. He was imprisoned on a trumped up charge for inciting a rebellion. Christopher's last words are recorded, I am innocent and I die innocent. I forgive with all my heart those responsible for my death. And I ask God that the shedding of my blood serve the peace of our divided Mexico. His life and that of others is seen in the movie for greater glory. Jesus reminds us that we must not preoccupy ourselves with the troubles or trials of this life whether it be finances, trouble with children, our relationships, job, bills, whatever it may be, that we should not be jealous or envious of all those around us who may seem to have it all or seem to have it easy. We should not long after those surface type of happiness which many seem to have. As St. Paul says, the sufferings of this life are nothing compared to the glory which is to come. It is this joy which gave martyrs joy in suffering for the sake of the name. It is this joy that motivated the saints to empty their lives and detach for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is this joy that must await us, that must sustain us until we await that glory which is to be revealed, the glory in which we shall see him as he really is. My sisters and brothers, as we continue the season of Easter, as we prepare for the Feast of the Ascension, and as we continue to long for the Lord and pray for an end to this pandemic, let us really focus our hearts on the things of God. Let us seek after only those things of heaven, remembering that the trials and sufferings and hardships of this life are nothing compared to the glory which is to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We stand as we bring before our Heavenly Father all the needs that we have. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Jason, for all bishops, priests, and deacons throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all healthcare workers, doctors, and nurses, and tech staff, essential workers at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our Carmelite way of life. We pray for our students, Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, and Dave, and David from our cluster. 
Therefore, Michael, Paul, and Jeff, as they prepare for their ordination to the priesthood, that they all may be holy priests. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Continue to pray for healing for Christian Youngling, Vincent Guy Dean, Monica St. Rose, Norma Heller, Della Marie, Phyllis de Oliveri, Lurine Alexander, Father Peter de Lavasi, George Tanchun, and Elma and Mark Tanchun. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray in thanksgiving for the safe deliveries of Simone Bengashe Seal and Tatiana Job Simungo, and for God's blessings upon their babies and their families at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the special intention of Andrew for breakthrough in his situation, and also for God's blessings upon Father Michael Kassane and Roland Araujo, Kelly Sinanen, and Annabella Cynthia as they celebrate their birthdays today. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for the repose of the soul of Francis Lazama, Ansel Pereira, Pat Bola, Clara Nanton, all departed members of the Araujo and Tantrum families, and all departed victims of accidents and epidemics like Corona. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for all the needs which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We unite these prayers to those of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make. For we make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and raised with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Praises and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. In honor of the precious death of your just ones, O Lord, we come to offer that sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim you. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Francis, the Zama, Clara, and Anton, and so Pereira, all the members of the Araho and Tantric family, and all those in purgatory. God, bring them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, St. Christopher Magdalena, St. Blessed Miguel Augustine Pro, and all of the Mexican martyrs. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be quiz to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we praise Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. This time we have an act of uh, spiritual communion. This prayer can be found on the EWTN website. I'll say it slowly so that you can pray it along with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of my Savior, sanctify my hands. Body of Christ, be thou my saving yes. All of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with water. From thy side, strength and protection, may thy passion be. Oh, blessed Jesus, here and handsome, be in thy bosom, hide and shelter me, so I will ever. Let us pray. As we celebrate by this divine banquet the heavenly victory of the blessed martyrs, Christopher Magellanus and companions, on those we beseech you, Lord, to restore victory on those who eat here below of the bread of life and to allow them to eat as victors from the tree of life in paradise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. We will be in the session of St. Michael as we pray for an end to this pandemic. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the state of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, and the power of God, Goes down to hell, Satan, and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world, 
seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. A reminder for those of you who do this, uh, the novena to the Holy Spirit, praying, of course, towards Pentecost uh, begins today. You should find a number of these online and you should find one also on our Facebook uh, page. Also, tomorrow will be the next day that we give out uh, hampers to the needy. So if you know anybody from an area in need, you can contact the office at 674-3075 so that we can assist them. Thank you so much for joining us today. Wish you all the best for the day and encourage you to keep safe and see you again uh, tomorrow at the same time at 7. And so tomorrow we will have adoration as we usually have on a Friday from 3 to 5.